Hi, this is Tobias from the Firetel team. Welcome to this tutorial. Today, I would like to show you how to extract data from an eops logger bin file using the decoder software and how to import the resulting files into Firetel. In this tutorial, I am working on Windows. The decoder is available for Linux and Windows and Mac users can use the Windows emulator Wine to get started. The eops decoder ships as a command line tool, which may feel a bit unfamiliar for some Windows and Mac users. Despite the old style vibes you may get here, the core idea is to avoid a huge footprint. And looking closely, this is in fact a wise decision for this use case. So let's see what we've got. In this folder, we downloaded our logger bin file from the base station. Now, we require the extraction tool, the decoder, that we can download from EOPS DE. We go to the tab Service and Download. And in case you have no Firetel version yet, make sure to click on the Firetel link here as well. For now, we require the data decoder, so let's scroll down. Let's expand the Windows version and download it. This should take just a second, it's below 100k. Double click the decoder zip file and copy the decoder binary. Paste it into the same folder as the logger bin. Now we can execute the decoder. Double click the file. Windows will warn us that the file has been downloaded from the deep dark web and could potentially erase all data we've ever owned, encrypt our hard drive and steal our precious bitcoins. Well, they could be right about this. Yet, in this tutorial, we are using a sandbox, so let's bypass the warning for now. Click on More Info. And magically, a Run Anyway button appears. Click it. We now have a range of options, whereas we would like to convert our initial data to the movebank format. Therefore, simply enter M for movebank and hit enter. Some process logs will appear and finally the message super success appears, which should refer to that all sub-processes were completed successfully. So let's have a look at our folder again. New files have been created underscore ACC and underscore GPS. Now switch to Firetail. And choose File, Open CSV. Navigate to the project directory and mark the underscore GPS file. If you are prompted that the project exceeds the license limit, you may order a trial license from our website. Alternatively, and this is of course the superior option, Order a full license for your project. Firetail will detect all available eops files and open the project to explore within Firetail, including acceleration data, IMU magnetometer data, and positional information. Stay curious and thanks for watching.